I said it earlier like this. The more I read the Bible, the more I'm acquainted with Marcus. And the more I get to know how messed up Marcus really is. See, when I read the Bible, it exposes not Pastor Davidson, but it exposes Marcus. And see, when you read the Bible, it starts showing you how bad you really are. See, when you ride on your laurels and ride on your title, you can feel good about yourself. But when you get in the Bible, it starts showing you a mirror of yourself. And I don't care how you look at anybody else. If you really want to see yourself, look in the Bible. Bible and it will give you a mirror of yourself and guess what you won't really like what you see because as long as you're looking at other books you can feel good about yourself as long as you look at other people as a standard to live by you can feel good because you can say I don't do that I don't look like that I don't act like that I don't say those type of things but when you get in the Bible it starts showing you just how you really are it starts showing you how you walk around people won't speak to folk how you backstab people how you mishandle people, how you mistreat people, how you treat people wrong, how you call people out of their names, how you do things. That's what the Bible will do to you. But guess what the Bible will also do to you? Encourage you to know where you can get help. And that's what the law does. The Bible says this. In verse number 22 it says, But the scripture has shut up everyone under sin so that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. So what the law says is this. The law shows you how bad you are. And I know this is tough for some of you real sanctified folks, self-righteous folk who really think that you have it all together. But the truth of the matter is as long as you're on this side of glory and you reside in the flesh, you have issues. And for the people who thought that they did not have issues, just touch yourself and that stuff you're touching is some bad stuff. And what you're touching will make you get out of sync with the Savior. So you need somebody or something to help you get in sync with the Savior. And the only thing that can get you in sync with the Savior is the Holy Spirit. And when you get with the Holy Spirit and when he gets in you, he pushes you to all truth. And the more I read the word of God, the more I understand I need the promise. And that promise is Jesus Christ. Now, the more I read the word, the more I see myself. The more I read the word, the more I see how bad I really am. And that's what you have to do every single day. Stay in the word of God so that you can see yourself. But don't just stop at seeing yourself. Then ask God, what can you do about your messed up self? And what you can do is, by faith, ask Jesus Christ to help your life. Now, that's what, that's, what, that's what Paul is teaching. He says to the Galatian believers, they are suggesting to you that you need the law in order to be right with God. But the reality of it is this. The fact that you've already exercised faith in Jesus Christ, you are right with God. And all I'm stopping by to tell you today that you are already right with God if you've exercised faith in Jesus Christ. But I must also submit to you this, this truth. Just because you've submitted to the righteousness of God does not mean that you are a perfect person. This is for the saints. This is for the saints. This segment is for the saints who think everybody else is messed up. 